गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू साइंस ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एट देर आर इन ऑल नाइनटीन चैप्टर्स इन योर सिलेबस फ्रॉम द टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील विथ चैप्टर वन लिविंग वर्ल्ड एंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ माइक्रोब्स सो वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ लिविंग वर्ल्ड फ्रॉम प्राइमरी क्लास इन प्राइमरी क्लासेस यू स्टडी वन सब्जेक्ट दैट वॉज एनवायरमेंट साइंस विच यू कॉल ई वी एस वॉट यू स्टडीड इन ई वी एस ई वी एस एनवायरमेंट मीन्स द नेचर विच इज अराउंड अस नाउ वाई आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग विद दिस दैट वी हैव टू फर्स्ट स्टडी द टर्मिनोलॉजीज विच आर यूज इन योर हेडिंग ऑफ द चैप्टर लिविंग वर्ल्ड वॉट डज लिविंग वर्ल्ड इंक्लूड इट इंक्लूड्स प्लांट्स एनिमल्स एंड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स नाउ इन प्लांट्स यू नो देर आर फ्लावरिंग नॉन फ्लावरिंग plants animals there are terrestrial amphibian aerial animals and in microorganisms there are protozoans bacteria fungus algae the first point we are going to study in this chapter is biodiversity and need of classification what do you mean by biodiversity bio means living and diversity means variations there are variety of animals in this nature and that makes a biodiversity for example our country in our country there are people of different castes and religions and so our country is a diverse country with different religions in the same way our nature is also full of variety of plants and animals need of classification why we have to do this classification before explaining this need need of classification why should we do the classification for before explaining that i want to give you a small example about school in school there are different classes from play group to standard 12 now age of play group student is of 3 years and the top 12 standard students it is of 17 years now why this class is there play group standard first second third fourth it is because each student is having different iq means his understanding capacity is different his physical development his maturity all that factors are different in each student and so that classes are made according to their age now if in living organisms there are also different characters according to census of 2011 87 million species of living organisms are present so 87 million and it was in 2011 so while studying all these things there are complications characters of each plant each animal are different and so to study individually it is difficult so they are categorized in one group and how are that groups done their groups are done based on the similarity and difference of that living organisms what do you mean by similarity and what do you mean by difference manje asa ek gat tayar kartat ki tache characters similar asat similar characters asnare plants animals eka group madhe astat ani tyacha anusar te classification hota so one example we will study here human being now in evs what you have studied things around us what that things include living and non living so there are two groups living and non living and in living we are studying plants and animals manje living being madhe apan kai study karto two groups we are studying plants and animals but similar character tya dogancha madhe kay ki te dog hi living hai ani different character kay hai the plants are autotrophs and animals are heterotrophs that is the main difference in them and similar character is they are living asa karun te classification केलं जातं अँड नॉन लिव्हिंग थिंग्स युअर नोटबुक पेन पेन्सिल दे कम इन डिफरंट ना हू डिड दिस क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ दिस लिव्हिंग वर्ल्ड फाय किंगडम सिस्टीम बेस्ट ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन इट वॉज डन बाय अन अमेरिकन इकोलॉजिस्ट रॉबर्ट हार्डिंग विटेकर वॉट ही वॉज डिंग वॉट इज द मिनिंग ऑफ इकोलॉजिस्ट इकोलॉजिस्ट मीन्स ही वॉज स्टडिंग द रिलेशनशिप ऑफ द लिव्हिंग ऑर्गॅनिझम अँड इज सराउंडिंग जेव्हा लिव्हिंग ऑर्गॅनिझममध्ये नेचरमध्ये राहतात तेव्हा त्यांचं आणि त्या नेचरचं रिलेशन कसं आहे 